Team Rembrandt is a first robotics competition team from Eindhoven where we work together with high school students, university students and business professionals. So every year the robot has to do a different trick, a different challenge, which we know the first weekend of January and sometimes it's stacking toads, shooting frisbees, climbing in a pyramid. It changes from year to year. Uh, and the challenge especially is into designing and building something within six weeks because after six weeks of that game animation we head off to America where you have to compete against other teams. But before you're able to produce something you have to design it where it's not just software for programming a robot but we also have to design the parts that we want to produce. So that's where we used SolidWorks in previous years. And this year we've also used 3DX Experience Platform, uh, which has been a great help to uh, show the entire robot creation to the entire team. Uh, the most unique thing this year was that we were actually capable of building an entire robot within three weeks, four weeks, where usually it would take five to six for the first iteration. And that's where we used 3DX, which really helped us to get the entire team tagged along on the design process. And once the design was done, everybody could jump on and uh, download the parts that were needed to be produced, to be picked. So uh, building the actual robot was like twice as fast this year compared to other years. So besides 3DX, we've been also using Composer for quite a while, for a couple of years, uh, which is a program that allows us to create different views of our robot. And in America, when you go to the competitions, you have like a Formula One pit box style with 10 square meters, where you have judges walking by and you need to explain the robot. And that's where the Composer model comes in really handy, where we've created different iterations and different versions of our robot, and basically creating a uh, interactive user interface where we can explain the entire robot and its functions to the judges. So after six, seven weeks of building the entire robot, it's time to disassemble the entire robot, pack it in our suitcases and travel all the way to California where we have to rebuild the entire robot within the hotel. So we have one hotel room which we reserve to build up the entire robot and then the day after we arrive, we go to a different team, uh, we practice and we uh, make sure the robot is fully functional uh, for the competition and then we'll head off to the competition where we have two weekends to compete within the regionals. So we were offensively very good, where in the first regionals competition we won the Excellence in Engineering Award and we even defeated the reigning world champion. They then artistically evolved their robot's modular design to ensure that they can just plug and play. Join me in congratulating Team 4481! But the game develops, robots get better, teams get better. So if we want to compete at a high level at the World Championship, changes have to be made in order to compete at that level where 3DX was a really great help because whenever we got back uh, in the, from the US, our team in the Netherlands was already busy redesigning some parts, which really kept up the entire pace, which made it so that once we got to the US, we kind of had a basically improved robot where everybody didn't expect a European international team to bring a new robot. So that definitely shook up some thoughts and feelings on our expectations. So the World Championship is where 600 of the best 3,500 teams come to compete. After some troubled matches, we definitely showed what we were worth and we eventually partnered up with the number two in our division and we ended up winning our division, making it thus far within the finals, competing against different division winners and in the end we became fourth of the entire World Championship which definitely showed that if you are able to build a robot early in the build season and you can keep on iterating, uh, it will help in the eventual performance of your robot, which I think wasn't doable without 3DX this year.
So looking back at this year, I think we've accomplished many great things, but knowing what's possible within the entire platform gets me really excited for the foreseeable future, where I can't wait to start working on improvements for next year in order to become the World Championship winner of 2025. <laughs> Hey!